And uh, your favorite dish? My favorite dish? I like mugs because... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Van Tall Guy. So I got the WJ in the garage today and today I'm just gonna make a quick video on how to change the uh, transfer case fluid in the uh, limited uh, quadra drive WJ. Uh, now since this is the limited and I have the quadra drive set up, basically that means I have a limited slip differential in the front, a limited slip differential in the back, and I have the uh, 247 transfer case in the middle. So these transfer case only takes one specific fluid um, yes, like advanced art parts and stuff like this sells like these universal multi transfer case fluid because the fluid you need is a Mopar transfer case fluid and this fluid has like these friction modifiers that you need in order to make the uh, quadra drive uh, work properly. So uh, let me show you what fluid I got. So this is the fluid I got is as I mentioned this is the factory fluid that they put on these cars brand new uh, is Mopar our transmission case is a NV247. So this is the uh, fluid you need. As I mentioned, this fluid has friction modifiers, um, additive that you need um, in order for um, in order for the transfer case to deliver proper power to each wheel. If you use the incorrect fluid, you can cause the transfer case to slip. You can cause a lot of issues mechanically. So I only recommend using the the, the factory fluid. Honestly, I thought it was going to be expensive. Uh, I think it came out to like 25 bucks. You need two quarts of this. Um, two of them from Amazon cost me about 25 bucks. All right, guys. And I also want to mention, this is the fluid I used before. It's full synthetic transmission case fluid, multi-vehicle. It says here it's recommended for Ford, uh, GM, and more. Over here it says recommended for like Dodge and Jeeps models. Do not use this, do not use this at all. I definitely uh, made a mistake putting it in. Luckily, I only drove the Jeep for like about, I'll say 20 miles and stuff before I did my own research and realized, hey, I needed this fluid. So I definitely recommend using this one only. Do not use this. If you go to Advanced Auto Parts and O'Reilly's and stuff like that, they're gonna probably tell you to use this because they don't know themselves. These uh, transfer cases are really sensitive on the uh, type of fluid you're gonna use. So only use the factory fluid, which is this. And two of these quarts cost about 25 bucks. It's, it's not really that expensive. Uh, just get the right one and you should be fine. All right guys, so we're under the WJ. This is the transfer case right here. This is the uh, 247 I was talking about. Uh, right here you have the two fill plug and drain plug they need to remove. And yes, it's leaking some fluid already. If you can take a look, it's not that bad. Honestly, it's like a drop every two months or something. Uh, I'm gonna address that later, but as of right now, I'm just gonna drain it, put the correct fluid. Uh, winter is coming, so I wanna get this all done. So, um, normally on your uh, on, on the factory uh, plugs, you're gonna have a 10 millimeters. I, uh, when I first bought the vehicle, I drained it, and I put the incorrect fluid, as I mentioned. I also, uh, put uh, aftermarket plugs here. These are better uh, just because the other one was completely rusted. So um, eventually it's gonna end up stripping. Um, so that's gonna be a real pain in the ass to remove. So these are the new ones I, I, I put in. They're uh, 12 millimeters. As I mentioned, the factory ones would be 10 millimeters. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna loosen the fill plug first, take it off, and then we're gonna uh, take off the drain plug. You always wanna do this just because if you remove the drain plug and you can't remove the fill plug, then you're screwed. You'd rather remove the fill plug first to make sure that you're able to add new fluid in. And even if the um, drain plug is bad and you can't remove it at all, as long as you remove the fill plug, then you should be all set because you can just pump out the old fluid and then re-pump in the new fluid. So we're gonna go ahead and just remove these two real quick. Alright guys, as the uh, fluid is draining, I went ahead and just prepped the bottle. Basically, I just have a simple uh, push pump here where I'm going to use to draw the fluid from here into the transfer case. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fill it up now. Alright guys, and this is just a simple setup. We got the uh, pump tube connected into the transfer case. We're going to go ahead and pump it. As I recommend, it takes about two quarts of fluid. 
and then we should be done and we can uh, go ahead and put the uh, fill plug back on. All right guys, and this is my simple setup. I didn't jack up the car. I left the car exactly how it is and the car is on stock suspension. Um, so basically the transfer case, um, we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. It's gonna take about two quarts of this fluid. Uh, so we're just gonna fill it up and then we can put the um, fill plug back on. All right guys, so I managed to put the fluid into the uh, transfer case. It took about 1.5 quarts. So you're definitely gonna need two quarts, but you're only gonna use about 1.5 quarts. Um, and, and also in case you guys are wondering, I should have pointed this out in the beginning of the video, um, what type of transfer case you have. If you take a look over here at the tag, you can see on, on the very top it says 247. So this, tra this transfer case is 247. Also, I'd like to point out that the liquid that I um, inserted into the transfer case was like a clear green liquid. Uh, so yeah, so definitely don't use the proper fluid. Do not use um, transmission fluid, that red stuff, so not use it. Um, and that's basically it. I went ahead and snuggled up the bolts. You don't want to put it too tight because um, it, can leave the, it can cause them to strip later on when you need to remove it again. And as I mentioned, it is leaking uh, fluid around here, which I'm gonna address later in the future. I need to see where it's leaking, if it's over here on the uh, this gasket or, is it, or if it's the uh, seal. I'll take a look at it later and see uh, where the leak is coming from. All right guys, and we are done. As I mentioned, this is a simple, short video on how to change the transfer case fluid. The next video I'm gonna do is change out the lower control arms um, just because they're really bad, but I'm gonna save it for the uh, next video. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. As always, guys, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. See ya. Bye-bye.